All right, people, look where we are. That's right. We are here on the top parking deck of downtown Boston. If you look, you can see the Longfellow Bridge. This is known as the Museum of Science parking garage. We're gonna take the steps down. Oh, that's emergency stairs only. So I guess that the parking garage elevator is broken, but I never get a chance to like run before. But anyway, since we are being healthy is we're gonna ride down the steps. Sorry about for the sakiness because we're doing this one handed. It says we are on the fifth floor. We try to get this thing right. And sorry about my shaky hand, but I'm just holding my water bottle. So here is the steps. Here we go. Yes, there is a lot of people, so yes, we do need to ignore. Three. Here's two. And here we come to the first floor. All right, and here we are at the first floor, and there's the elevator, but sadly it is broken. So, that's it. All right, we are on the second floor of the Green Wing at the Museum of Science here in Boston, Massachusetts. This is the Green Wing, so here we, here we have the Hall of Human Life. Pause if you want to read. This place is really, really busy, so people and um, the children that come here to enjoy and have a wonderful time. Look at this. Missing Mars on Roblox. Look at this. That is so cool. We're going to be exploring the, um, the Green Wing at the Museum of Science, as of our exploring building tours that we have. There's the elevator we just threw out the last time. I know it's a cone, it's been modernized. So hopefully we'll try to keep people out, but we may. But like I said, this place is absolutely busy. So we're gonna zoom in so you can see. So we're gonna be um, guided. This exhibit, um, I meant to say, um, the exhibit is called Use Tools to Detect the Invisible. This is the Invisible Project, so you can see. And I want you to see something. Mazes and brain games. Right through these doors is we have something to sell you, but th that's a peek through the area, but even though I can't sell you that. So here we have the DNA. How do your genes help you survive in the sun? This is the screen. It helps provide protein. You can see it helps find the multiple genes into your own DNA. It res it's on um, the you know the proteins are responsible for creating a um, a pigment. So you see this is the pigment right here in the protein. Here we have health, health conditions. This is the health conditions. This is called 
hypertension. Let's get a panoramic view of this. And I think this is the only angle that we can do because, you know, there is a lot of people, so we just need to ignore. Here we have the, uh, the food decisions. We have type 2 diabetes. There's the mazes right there. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We'll ride the elevator down to the first floor and then we'll come back up the steps. All right, now watch this door, watch this. I think you remember this elevator, right? Here we go. I'm gonna show you something on the first floor. Look at this. We are on the first floor. This is called the Marshbirds Exhibit. All right, we are now back on the second floor, looking here at the Cotton Top Tamarins. See, look at this. These are the skeletons right there. The human skeletons. See there? Look at this. Look at this. I wonder where the monkeys are. Oh, I see. Oh, there's a turtle. Let's zoom in so you can see the turtle. That's the turtle right there. Scientists are still investigating why, when the dendritic cell contacts the naive T helper cell, sometimes the T helper cell can be another pollen grain ball into the nose to find out what happens if pollen returns. Here's the link station. This is the link station right here. We got the honeybee section. And also, here is a nice view of downtown Boston. If you look, this is a nice view of the Charles River. You can see the, um, the Longfellow Bridge right there.
This is known as Art and Science at the Koch Institute. This is known by the Institute of Technology, so... We get one more view of um, the river itself. All right, we will keep rolling in just a second. This is looking at the atrium of the, of the Charles River in the Museum of Science, you can see. Now we're standing outside of the, at the, um, the Blue Ring. This is the Blue Wing. There's the atrium. Let's go ahead and tour the Blue Ring now. Oh, look up there. You can see some stars at the top of Earth, but I don't know if meteors that crash from Earth like that. You also have return games here, you can see. Look at these colors. Let's see back so you can see. Look at these three colors. This is the 4D theater. And if you know, this is amazing. You see, it does change the colors. Here's your um, digital clock. So now, there's the elevator we just rode the last time. That's the um, the Beckwith elevator. Look at this. Look at this blue globe. I'm not sure if this is a globe, but this is um. I think this is Jupiter. Yes, I'm correct. This is on the Jupiter planet. Like I said, Jupiter is one of the biggest planets you've ever seen on the Earth before. Again, this is absolutely a nice place to enjoy. And we will try to point the camera up so that way, after we show these, this is the in memory of Harold W. Pierce. Point the camera up. We got a nice one from this side. Yes, this place is really, really busy. There's a playground and they have a theater, so and they also have the um the electricity fireworks. Here's another set. All right. This is looking at the second floor of the Blue Wing at the Museum of Science. All right, that'll be it for now. All right, after a brief tour of the Blue Wing, let's go ahead and check out the mazes and brain games. This is the mazes and the brain games once these people get out of the way. So let's take a look inside. See, look at this. We have another elevator. This is inside the maze. Look at that. That is the freight elevator right there. This is the jumping maze. Oh, wow. Again, this is more nice. Look at that. 
This is the jumping mazes here at the Museum of Science. We got the headlong maze. We got the junior puzzle maze right here. These are all the arts on the wall. We got the color path maze. And you can see these are all the mazes that, that they have here. I think I like is the color path maze. So what do you guys think about the color path maze? Write in the comments above to tell us about which maze do you like the best. Because I think the color path I think the color path maze is more like Pac-Man. But I'm sure it does. It really does look like Pac-Man. Here's this one. You can see mazes at the brain games. You can see the big cube right there. And as you can tell, it looks very, very big. All right, after coming off the escalator, we are gonna be exploring the basement. This is the basement of the Blue Room at the Museum of Science. Look at this. I think you guys remember this. Let's take a closer look. Look at this, look at this. This is the basement. So what we wanted to do is touch, see, hear, smell, and yeah. Look at this. See, this is the basement. Here we have fear. We also got touch smell. This museum is amazing. And we also have seeing heat. All right. See, these are all the exhibits is what they have here. Look at this, we have some fossils. Like any golden or sewer fossils is what they have. This is known as the Eye of the Beholder. Here's the lava rock. We also have the natural beauty. This right here is the quartz. Look at this. We have color. Oh wow, look at this. This is a really good color rock. Again, pause if you want to read. Here we have black and white. And this right here is the colossal fossil um, tricer um, triceratops cliff. See, look at this. This is inside the fossil area, which they have fossils in the rocks. Oh, this is a mammoth And look at this. This is the big dinosaur. 
if you ever find a fossil, the dinosaur will never escape. But this is the big dinosaur. I'll zoom right up above so you can see onto this side is we have another skeleton right here. All right, now we're on the basement of the Green Wing. If you look in there, that's the Colby room. We'll take a look at the Colby room. But look at this. This is the Colby room. And we also have a bird's world as well. Looking out the atrium. And I think this area might be closed off because this is like a little auditorium. But you can see this area is closed off. So I guess we'll walk up the steps. Look at this. We got the antlers. Look at these three antlers right here. It's so pretty. And I guess we'll stop the camera right here at the antlers. Here's the big dinosaur again. And look at this. Isn't that pretty cool? Wow, this is amazing. There goes a Green Line train, you can see. Yep, there goes a Green Line train, that's the MBTA. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed a full, full tour of the Green Wing and the Blue Wing at the Museum of Science in Boston, Massachusetts. And you can see these are all the buses outside. We have a Crystal Transport and we have the regular school buses, which we have ICCEs and Thomas C2. So I hope you guys enjoyed a wonderful tour of the Boston Museum of Science in Boston, Mass. So if you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. All right. Peace out, folks.